All right, guys, what is up? Lumiere with a new video. Uh, this is gonna be the video before the video of me and my boy. We're going to the park and we're gonna be doing some drifting with my RS4, and he's gonna bring out a stampede. So we're gonna have some fun then. Uh, this is gonna be the video before. This is actually the day before. This is Saturday. We're going on Sunday. So um, this is gonna be a couple updates and um, getting my RS4 ready for the uh, event tomorrow that we're going to be uh, making a video on. It's going to be super fun. And yeah, guys, let's get right into it. Alright, guys, so uh, this thing's pretty much ready to go. I just got to put the drift wheels on it right here. Um, I don't think you've actually guys seen this video, this car drift on my channel yet. You, if you've been on my Instagram, you've probably seen a couple clips, but yeah, so we're going to... You've seen it in the rain, but not with the drift wheels. So, my plan... For this video is we're going to a local park in Long Island that we always go to uh, there's a skate park there so we're gonna go to the skate park and we're gonna go riding but um, there is some really cool hilly uh, sidewalks and stuff like that so we're gonna be bombing the sidewalks with this we're gonna make some sort of gym kind of set up really planned it out yet but we're gonna figure that out when we get there um, I have a couple ideas but uh, so yeah we gotta put these wheels on I fixed the one-way bearing issue hopefully um, I actually purchased a new one-way bearing, but uh, if you guys don't know this already, I learned this the hard way. Like, I literally learned everything the hard way. Um, I thought I measured out a one-way bearing for a different motor, and I thought it was off the old motor that I had, like the other 15, but it was not. And the OS.15 motors, they have a weird size, like proprietary size one-way bearing. It is not a 12 millimeter by 6 millimeter. It's some some weird. I don't even know how to explain it. So, um, it was slipping, and I bought that one, and it doesn't fit. So what I ended up doing was I did some research, and this started slipping once my back plate started leaking a bunch of oil and crap and stuff. So I clean it out. I rub put some rubbing alcohol on the bearing. I scratched up the shaft again, and uh, it's, I mean, I was pulling it really hard, and it wasn't slipping, so hopefully it works. I mean, if it works the one time, it's alright. So the whole thing is that uh, a factory replacement bearing, you get it on a main hobby, it's no problem. It's just it's $35. I don't feel like spending $35 on a freaking bearing. So, yeah, um, I got a new switch in here. But, uh, yeah, everything should be working. Got to put the wheels on, and then this car's ready to go. This is just a little update video. Whoa, 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 what's this, what's this? Oh, wow. Oh, wait a second. What's this? What's this? Oh, crap, bro. What do you think that's gonna go in? Right here, buddy. So, uh, I got Project, this is called Project Hlash. H-A-L-A-S-H. And the reason why is that this is an HPI Nitro. MT, I'm pretty sure, but we're putting this body on it, and I already have it mounted basically. Um, and it actually fits pretty decently. I just had that body lying around because I used to have a uh, Traxxas slash tool drive for the longest time when I like that was actually my first RC car, and uh, we got a new body for it, and we never really ran it because um, it was for my when my brothers are driving. When I got the T Max down there, don't worry, we're getting that thing going again one day, one day in the future. Um, when we got, when I got that, uh, my dad, he bought the body for the other, for the Slash to give to my brother so he can drive, but he never was really interested into it. So yeah, I got Ghoul RC, um, 3300 KV motor, so low KV, it has a 5mm shaft, because I'm going to have to be running Mod 1 gears. And, I already have the Mod 1 gears, because you know why? Whoa, 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 what's that? Oh, whoa, alright, that's his own video of itself. Uh, it's been pretty much two months since we've been working on that car, lo slowly but surely, so uh, that's going to be a big video. But anyway, guys, this is a little update video. Got this all cleaned up. Uh, LST is running tip-top shape. I'll put a little video of it right here going. So yeah, that thing's going good. 
Uh, this should this thing last time I drove it should be running just uh, tip top. Might have to do a little tune when I get it running when we go back there. But uh, yeah, my buddy's Stampede's running good. I got the steering situated on this. Um, I ordered a mount, but I don't know if it's coming in. I, it's been in the mail for about a month now. Um, so we might be ordering a different mount. But uh, as far as I know, I think we're ordering up the batteries tonight for both of these cars. Because this car just needs a battery. And a, we need to also get a LiPo charger. Because we only run nitros. This is the first time we're actually going to be running LiPos. So we need a LiPo charger. And then I need to buy a LiPo battery for this car. So uh, yeah, that's a little update right here. Uh, stay tuned for video tomorrow. It's going to be freaking epic.